Just like the salmon rivers, the forest has a four-year cycle of its own. And this is a boom year in the Bikin Forest. The boom begins right here in the tops of the Korean pines. In such a year, all the forest inhabitants profit, humans and all the animals. Amba always knows what's going on in his realm. And the Udige are aware that tigers are nearby, but they would never hurt each other. Korean pines have to be 100 years old before they produce large amounts of fruit. Each year there are some cones, but every fourth year there are cones galore. It's the delicious seeds in these cones that make the Korean pine precious. A single tree will produce some 45 pounds. That's nearly half a ton per acre. Tigers depend on the many animals that feed off the oil-rich pine nuts. After a good pine year, the boar population explodes, as do populations of chipmunks, voles, and other creatures. Some little hunters like this sable skip the meat and go straight for the pine nuts. Pine nuts are good income for this family. Apart from ginseng roots, there's not much else out here that can be harvested. So this self-made pine cone mill is a money machine. A day's harvest will fetch a few hundred dollars in Havarsk, the nearest city on the bank of the Amur. But what sounds like fast money will have to last for a while. 